Ouais, c'est bien ça. In addition to art photography, he does portrait and commercial work, including 140 magazine covers for a publication in Montreal. C'est beau, ouais, ça c'est beau. He creates much of his work in his Montreal studio, carefully observed by a Jack Russell Terrier named Photo. Ouais, parfait. Sometimes he'll accessorize his models with a sculpture, such as in this piece called Illumination. The model, covered in clay, poses with a plaster sculpture resembling a lampshade. The model's head is wrapped in fireproof fabric to protect him from a high wattage bulb hidden under the sculpture. La Liberté says although the photograph is technically complicated, he aimed for simplicity in the image. By simplicity, I mean simplicity of the composition, which it doesn't mean the meaning of the photo is simple, but uh, the, the, the photo itself is, is not too complicated. I don't like photos that are very uh, busy, very complicated. I mean, it's just not me. This photograph references a yoga pose. La Liberté says the symmetrical form resembles a face. Which is very interesting, like a mask. So I like that. The artist wants to cover model Patrick Loiseau's face with a mask. So he hangs a beehive sculpture from above. The back doesn't conform to a face. So the model uses a mouthpiece to steady the suspended sculpture. Ouais, ça c'est bon. Bouge plus, bouge plus. Parfait. Bouge plus. Adding branches to the piece transforms l'oiseau from model into mythical creature. Et si tu mets tes mains là comme euh, différemment, non, ouais, comme ça, ouais, ça c'est beau. Ouais. Ouais, pis si on essaye la pose que t'as faite comme ça un petit peu là de Bustleman. Ouais. Parfait. Good. I enjoy working with Patrick because he's a very nice guy. He's not shy. He trusts me, he trusts what I'm doing, so he's not really worried about the result of the photos. Patrick trusts me completely, so that's great. It's easier for me to work. Right. And if you look at the eyes, you lift the head. Puis là, rebaisse, ça regarde le masque maintenant. Je voulais juste que tu me regardes pour... Euh, ouais, c'est ça. Good. C'est beau. I enjoy modeling because when you do a shooting, you give the best of yourself for the image. And people, when they look at the, pi at the picture of yourself, they see the best of you, the best moment you can give to the photographer. And what I like best is when people look at pictures of me and they say, it doesn't look like, it doesn't look at all like you. And I like it because you see something different from your personality. I enjoy a lot working with models. I enjoy a lot working with human beings. While humans are his favorite subject, sometimes his photos betray more animalistic traits. One afternoon I was bored, believe it or not, so I decided to, uh, to do some photo with my dog. He was about a year and a half then. And I had a few accessories, a few wigs, and a few things already. So I thought to, I'll try to do a, a shoot, a photo shoot with him. And that's how we started. And he, he, he didn't enjoy it the first time, of course. He kind of uh, went like this to take everything out of him. And, uh, but with patience and with time, I trained him to support all the accessories. And uh, that's how we started. People love these pictures. I mean, it's they're fun. They're just full of fun. That's all. I had no other pretension than having fun. So I guess it's transpired to the picture. And when people see them, people laugh, people smile. Ça, c'est ton petit tasse. Oui, attends. Je vais te le donner. Ah, on va mettre le petit chapeau. Ah, c'est beau, ça. This dog loves it. To, to him, he knows I'm a photographer. I, he's always there when I photograph other subject matter and other people. So he understands that it's a, a bond between us to do picture. For some reason, maybe I'm, maybe I'm, I'm wrong, but I think he understands that there's a bond there between us when we do this. 
Way to go, Pichin. The pooch pictures weren't created for commercial sale, but just for fun, he sent some to directors of a calendar company who'd requested photos of models. And they call me a couple of days later and say, listen, I hope you're not mad, but we would rather use your photo of your dogs to do a calendar than, uh, than use your photo of men for now. I said, oh, sure, why not? And that's how the calendar and some cards came, came along. Thanks to the pretty clothes, calendar director's renamed photo, Fiona. So it's photo, also known as Fiona, <laughs> which is his star name. He has a, a regular name and a star name. A star can't always be bothered to look at the camera, but he will look at his favorite ball. Photo. Yeah. You have the feeling that the dog is smiling at you or he's feeling sad. And you know, I don't think a dog is, feels that kind of emotion, but you, you kind of see some emotion in the pictures. And that's, I think it's amazing. To balance his work with young models, La Liberté also finds joy in photographing older people. I've always wanted to show that getting older would, could be something that could be, uh, could be nice. And I want to show that even though your body is, is uh, going down, you, you can still keep your spirit up and can still be, be great and have a great life. Another series celebrates the art of tattooing. My main goal with uh, doing photography and doing artwork would be to, uh, to arouse an emotion in the viewer. If someone feels indifferent in front of one of my photo, to me, I haven't succeeded because I want people to, to feel something towards the picture. That's my main goal, actually. His ideas are very original. Um, the, the play that he does with um, black and white, with objects, with dogs and flowers and specific populations that he chooses for his shootings, they're very impressive when you look at it. Um, he has some photos that I've seen and I'm like, wow, how could, I, how could a person even think about creating such a thing, you know? Sometimes the tattoo photos include a special guest because the models ask to pose with the photogenic photo. If everybody thinks I have a wonderful dog, everybody says, oh, can I have a photograph at the end with the dog? Whether he's photographing man in the wild, wild beast on man, or wild beast as woman, La Liberté says he's grateful his creativity translates into art that succeeds on an international scale. Art is very important. It brings people together too, and a photo needs no words. A photo could be appealing to someone speaking Chinese and uh, someone uh, speaking English, French, or whatever. I think it's as important as the air we breathe and the water we drink. We need art too. We need culture and art. To learn more about this photographer, log on to www.robertlaliberte.com.